An appreciation of Manton Moreland and Birmingham Brown is actually a subject that takes us back 80 years to a time that's regarded as the golden age of Hollywood movies. Beginning in 1931, 20th Century Fox produced a total of 27 movies featuring the popular character Charlie Chan. It dropped the series in 1942, and the first movie in the new series produced by Monogram Pictures was Charlie Chan and the Secret Service. You saw a poster for it in the first slide. And it introduced a character who has given the Magic City one of its most enduring cinematic connections. The talented comedian Manton Moreland was cast as Birmingham Brown. And the character was added to the, to the series to, to provide comic relief and also to give it an appeal to a wider audience. And it generally succeeded on, on both counts. Uh, Moreland, by the time he had been cast in the, in the series, had already uh, had quite a, really established himself very successfully as a character actor. He appeared in a total of 125 films and over time developed a reputation of being able to improve even the worst of movies uh, just by his, his comedic talent. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, one of the best films in the series, uh, the Charlie Chan series that uh, featured Moreland as Birmingham Brown, was a film called The Scarlet Clue. It uh, was produced in 1945, and one reason that it's noteworthy is that it showcases uh, Moreland's famous incomplete sentence routine, uh, even pairing him with his most frequent comedy partner, uh, Ben Carter. And the incomplete sentence bit was to the team of Moreland and Carter what Who's On First was for Abbott and Costello. It never made it into the, the establishment of pop culture as much as Who's On First did, but it was... Um, in many cases, even funnier uh, than that particular routine. The premise was pretty was deceptively simple. Carter and Moreland carried out an entire conversation without ever finishing a sentence. And it frequently, the, the setup would frequently have Birmingham Brown walking down a, a corridor in a, hall, a hallway in an office building or an apartment building, or on a downtown street. He might, for example, have been walking down 2nd Avenue North center of the known universe and the cradle of civilization as we know it, right? And he might have had an encounter that went something like this. Well, if it isn't... Live and in person. I haven't seen you since. Oh, it's been longer than that. You know, the last time I saw you, you were... No, I, I don't live there anymore. I moved across town. Uh, how'd you ever get an apartment in that place? I thought there was a... There was, but I know the leasing agent. She... Well, that hardly seems fair to everybody else on the list. So are you still going out with... No, I dumped him long ago. Now I'm seeing... Whoa, how did you ever uh, reel him in? I thought he was going out with... Uh... No, they weren't serious. In, in fact, I met him at... Oh, sweet. I couldn't get tickets to that. I ended up having to go and see... Oh, I heard that was horrible. About as bad. No, it wasn't as bad as all that. Uh, what about Thursday night? Are you, you going to be over it? At... Haven't decided yet. Yeah. Um, you don't look so... Well, I haven't been feeling well lately. I, I've developed this, uh, you know... Uh, really? I, I hear that's a terrible pain. It starts right... It, no, it's more in the back, right around the... Is it? Uh, you, yeah. You should do something for that. Well, I, I, I've been taking... No, don't take that. That causes drowsiness. What you really need to take. I did, but I couldn't deal with the side effects. Oh. You know what I heard the other day? So did I. Who'd you hear it from? Well, I believe it was... No. Well, I wouldn't believe everything he says. Well, you know one reason I like talking to you? Because we seem to understand each other so well. We do, don't we? Yeah, I'll see you later. Carrie Roberts, put it up. It's been suggested that at this time we shouldn't appreciate Manton Moreland and his style of comedy. It's been suggested we shouldn't appreciate Ben Carter, Willie Best, or Lincoln Perry, who you saw on the other slide. Perry in particular, um, he was one of the most, at one time, one of the wealthiest entertainers in the business, but he was afflicted with the very unfortunate stage name of Step and Fetch It, which has come to symbolize everything that was wrong with a stereotype that should in no way be condoned, appreciated, or defended. Um, but the fact that those four men, with Moreland outstanding among them, they were some of the finest talents to ever walk across a movie screen. And that should be remembered and appreciated even now, 60 years 
after Moreland last played a character that has given him a lasting connection with the Magic City. And I'll tell you another thing about it. No, him. you won't. That was your last slide. Thanks, everybody. You've been great. <laughs>